Hello everyone. So today we would learn about Qtip. Qtip is quantum environment in Python. So to install Qtip, first open Anaconda Navigator. Like this is the best way to install Qtip. There are many ways to install Qtip. So just open command prompt, okay, and type in conda install. Qtip. Conda install Qtip. Okay. It's running. Here I am getting all requested packages already installed. So I have already installed Qtip in my system. Okay. So this is how we can install Qtip from Anaconda Navigator or else we can also use simple command prompt and uh, write pip install Qtip. So let us import everything from Qtip from Qtip import star. Let me run it. Okay. Now, to create an object, to create an object, we have something called as QObj function, QObject function. Okay. So let me create it, or let me run it simply. See, I have got a quantum object which is a type of bra okay because it is a horizontal matrix it is a horizontal matrix if i say what is bra then this is what a uh, bracket notation looks like like this this one this one is a bra this one is a bra b r a bra and this one this one is a cat is a cat okay so this is a bra and this is a cat so here i have bra notation which is a horizontal matrix okay so now now let me create an object where the matrix looks like this one 0 comma 1 okay 0 comma 1 let me run it oops I have got an error okay I just forgot to put a box bracket here and a box bracket here okay now I would call the queue see this outside box bracket is for matrix this one this one is for inner inner list inner list or row elements of a row and these are elements of a column okay so let me try running it I have got a quantum object with 0 and 1 and type is cat okay now what if I want to find if if something is Hermitian or not okay then I would use q dot is herm is herm okay and I would run it see this one this this matrix is not Hermitian so I have got false okay if it would be Hermitian then I would get true like let's let me put in identity matrix 1 comma 0 and 0 comma 1 okay let me run it let me run this I have got true back okay now if I want to check dimensions of an object then I will write D I M S okay 
and I would run it. I would get back two comma two. If I want to know type type of an object, then I would run. I would get back O P E R. That means operator. Okay. So this this was all about basic of creating an object. Now, what if I write Q dot D A G? Q dot D A G. This would give me the Hermitian matrix. Sorry, the the Hermitian conjugate. Okay. So now let me write here I. Let me put here I iota. Here I. Let me run it. Oops, I is not defined. So here we have complex S J. Complex S J. Okay. So let me put here one J one J. And here one J. One J. Okay. Let me run it. Rerun it. I got one J zero one J okay and let me run it. Is it Hermitian? No, it's not a Hermitian matrix. Like its Hermitian conjugate is not equal to itself. I would run dimensions. I would run type. Type is operator. I would now find out the conjugate. And here we go. We have found out the Hermitian conjugate of the matrix okay now what about trace trace so we have function called as dot tr so we would write q dot tr okay and we would try running it see i have got 2j here q dot tr is 2j okay now let me create a sigma y poly operator sigma y okay o v j Writing zero comma one j and and oops one j comma zero. I think here it's minus one j minus one j, okay. That is say s y and I would call s y. Let me run it. I have got poly operator sigma y, okay. Now let me also create poly operator sigma z, okay. It would be. Zero comma minus one and zero comma one. Okay. Nope. It's one comma zero, one comma zero, and oh, it's zero comma minus one. Zero comma minus one. Now let me call as said and run it. Okay, I have got back sigma z poly operator. Okay, now let me create a Hamiltonian. This is a direct tutorial taken from Qtip, so you can see from there. Like I need to perform. S Z on S Z plus zero point one S Y. Okay. Let me run it. Now let me call H. C. I have got this Hamiltonian operator. Okay. Now to find 
eigen energies or eigen values of this i would just type in h dot eigen ener e n e r energies jeez okay e n e r eigen energies and i would run it oops i have some spelling mistake here e i g e n e n e r it's e n e r eigen eigen energies okay let me run it see i have got back array okay now if you want it want the matrix in array then you just write q dot full and you will get back it in array okay so this was about eigen energies and this was about how to get back in array form now let me experiment here h dot hermitian is herm okay let me experiment the boolean object i get back it's not callable this i get back because i have put in parentheses here so i would write here okay i got back true so if i find hermitian conjugate of here i need to give parentheses i would get back the same thing okay so here i am getting that yes h this hamiltonian is hermitian obviously it would be hermitian and if i if i call this like if i find out hermitian conjugate then i am getting the same thing so it is an hermitian matrix okay so this was all about Q-tip and basics in Q-tip. Thank you for watching.